Eight. Eight. Eight thirty-four. Yes, today was an OT day, and it's been quite a while. I kind of missed it, especially the dinner. <laughs> also, eight thirty. Still bright and sun. A little, little bright and sunny because it's the summer. Anyway. So, continue on yesterday's topic. Why I save for three months, six months, nine months, and twelve months, and which to decide. Okay. So, a quick recap. Yesterday, uh, one thousand USD for whatever purposes, super emergency. Three thousand for secondary backup, aka medical funds, not including rent. The rent is a bonus and that's where today we will touch that. The living fund, aka the third money jar or the third piggy bank. Okay? So, of course, you will want to always have three months safety. Uh, let me think about it first. Okay, back again, cross the road and of course, I want to make some points, jot down a little bit, make a mental note. So. First, three months. Ah, oh, camera don't die on me. Very simple, because on average, statistically, now nah, whoever thinks about it, I think personally, personal experience, usually a person transferred to another job requires three months. The first month is probably get the job, but you don't get paid for the first month because usually the pay comes at the end of the month. That's one. Number two, you always need one month backup. Okay, this is a general rule. One month backup from your previous job in case you don't find a job okay and then the buffer is one more month so in total three okay very simple situation i quit company a at january so i will get my pay at the end of january which is perfect okay what if i don't get the job in february so oops i need one month buffer okay or that and i get my job or a new job in March, which is the, which is the third month, right? First month gets paid. Second month, I don't get paid, so I need to spend some money out. Third month, I get hired. However, the money comes at the end of the month, so technically, I need two months to buffer. And that's the three months rule. Very straightforward, very simple, okay? However, personal experience says I have been jobless for six months because picky, 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 <laughs> right? Sometimes you want to be picky because I don't know, right? I sometimes work in between jobs. The picky is I want to go out of the country, but I don't have that chance, which is a bad call, right? You want to be out of job maximum, I think two months should be enough. Should be the most, not enough. Ugh. One month would be actually the best, okay? One month gap, find another job, then Keep on rolling okay so my experience says six months i've not been on a stable job all right sometimes i get the job sometimes I don't get the job so that's the reason why i would prefer six months savings okay the nine month and the 12 month of course it's a different story if think of it as an incremental goal if you can save up for three months fantastic then next goal try to save for six months if you can even better right six months is always nice because it keeps a surplus in your bank account now why nine months and 12 months okay nine and 12 really pushes the boundary of what you can save if you can actually save up to the 12 months right that's one solid year of not working and you still can support yourself that means you have reached tier two of earning. I'll call it the tier two. Tier one is salary man. Tier two means you are ready for investments, right? And I'm not talking about savings, right? Because this three months, six months, uh, no, I don't like, will be in the savings account. The account that can gain the most interest without a fix, uh, without a time commitment, right? That's how I put it. So, more about how to do this type of savings because each country has a different savings interest rate. Okay, like I, right now, I know here, 
the interest rate is much lower than Malaysia but the Malaysian bank account <laughs> has a little catch to get a little bit higher right this is not a well for Malaysia it's a promotional thing so I always want to aim for that because it gives the best savings interest slash conveniency right so that's where you want this particular money to be in up to one year of living uh, living hood yeah right so once you hit the threshold which is one year right the reason why I say one year okay is all this investment after one year considered as medium to high risk which I did but then again when I do it I don't have one year worth of savings and now I pay the price that is my insurance investment and blah 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 right which I will roll it to my house loan and that's another story I think I've talked of I think I've talked this last year but I'm gonna give a nice thorough recap for this little thing and that's it that is the reason of three six nine twelve months right threshold is 12 months and I can easily easily give you this three months is the most crucial month to save this right must have three months if you don't have three months you have to have to have to try very very hard to save it up okay after the third month then that's where you can take it a bit slower and start collecting stuff people like me like to buy stuff and toys <coughs> it's very very interesting however I can easily say I have three months okay three months is the bare minimum until then I will see you tomorrow.